Hi, I am Bogdan from DNN Sharp. It's the third time we received this request, so I thought I would shoot a video on how to create an event registration using action form and action grid. So we will do this form that collects some basic information and then collects, uh, uh, let's user choose between one of the two events that have different pricing that they will redirect to PayPal, collect the payment, get back to the site and also generate a unique uh, URL for the user to be able to change the event details and also for the admins we'll have an action grid where the administrator can see all the submissions and edit them, delete them, stuff like that. So let's get started. I will start with a new action form module and I will add some basic, basic registration fields like um, I will add a um, name of the register and then maybe I will add an email address and finally I will choose one of the two events let's say uh, I will add a drop down and I want for each option I will call this let's say um, room so let's say that we have an event with two room and if you want to go to room A there is an event that cost an amount so let's say um, room A which cost $100 and we will also use the pipe character to give it a value to these options so we can uh, do some um, collect this amount from PayPal and I will show you that in a bit or you can go to room B which cost $200 again I will use the same technique and finally I will add a button I will say maybe enroll or uh, register and here first of all I will collect a payment a PayPal with a payment with PayPal and we also just released uh, in authorize.net add-on so you can uh, um, use either this PayPal which which is easier to use because you don't need uh, comp that much compliance you just uh, redirect to the PayPal complete the payment and then get back to the site whereas if you use authorize.net you have more options to collect payment directly from the site but you need some level of compliance for that okay so here I will use a uh, PayPal uh, sandbox account so I'll put it in test mode and let's say the title even registration I will collect in US dollars and here for the amount I will use a token this token room which will bring me the, uh, the value of the selected item so it can be either 100 and 200 so I want to uh, have the amount very best on the option that was selected and I use this trick to pass a, uh, a uh, amount that is that comes from the form and then I get to specify a candle a cancel page and a pending pay payment page this cancel page is when the user clicks cancel during the PayPal checkout process and the pending payment is uh, if PayPal reports the payment as pending for example this I notice this happens a lot if you use other currency that you, than US dollars, I, I notice it happens. Okay, after we collected payment, I want to send an email to the administrator. I have to use this email address because we use an account that requires a certain email addresses in the from field. And then we will send it, let's say that my um, email is the administrator. And then here in the reply to I can use the user email so if I click reply from the email it will go straight to this user and then the subject I will say name and here again is the form field so whatever the user writes in the form field it will be in the email subject just registered for the event name choose chose the uh, and here we can use the same token but use maybe the text 
not the value. So we can do like this. Uh, sorry, is room room dot text. So it will say, uh, let's say for example, John Smith chose the uh, room a, a chose room A, something like that. Okay, cool. And finally, I want to send an email to the user. So again, I will send it from support at dnsr.com to the user email, which is email. Again, in the reply, maybe I want to write my email address. So he, if the user clicks reply, it will go to my email address. I could use the same trick. And finally, the subject is uh, thank you for uh, thank you for subscribing to the event and here we will pass him a link where he can edit his registration you can edit your registration details at and here we will use another token It's called edit URL this is uh, created automatically by action form and it's an URL that points to the same action form page but through the query string it will pass a parameter that ident uniquely identifies a record to load and on summit to update. Good. So now I'm just saving this and I will go through a different browser when I am not logged in. Refresh this event registration page and I will register as Bogdan. And then I will choose room A and click the register button. Now I should be redirected to PayPal for the 100 amount, to collect the 100 amount. Yes, that's correct. And uh, here I will use another sandbox account. And I can, um, something is wrong with this account. Okay, we will tr I will try with a different test account. I will go for option two this time. Let's try number two. Or three, even three. Okay, so now I can pay with PayPal. I don't have to put a new card. So pay now, I choose option two, which is $200. I just completed payment and I will return to the store. Now, because this site is local, it may be that uh, the PayPal IPN would not work, so my site it will not get notified. But uh, I think we have a dual mechanism where the return URL also does the same thing. So if the PayPal IPN is not invoked, at least the uh, yeah, so I arrived on the same page. I should have, I should have uh, configured it to finally redirect to a URL. So on the register button, the final action should be maybe redirect to a uh, a portal page, and I should write a uh, portal page with a thank you for subscribing uh, message, and um, and uh, use that as the final page because otherwise the user arrives on the same page and it's confusing, but I will not go into that. I will continue with uh, checking the email first. So you see, I got two emails. First is the one uh, sent to the administration and it says Bogdan just registered for the event. Bogdan choose room B. Okay, I expected that. And the other one is sent to the user and it contains a URL where the user can edit this submission and you notice the query string there is an entry equals and there is a unique id where uh, that is uh, unique for this submission so if i get this link and go back to where i registered as the event and i for example i click this link The same form loads, but this time it has the value already populated. So if I go in and edit some details and click the register button again, it will go actually, it will go again to try to go to the 
uh, PayPal payments. So what I would have to do, I would have to disable this um, mechanism for uh, PayPal. So I, I don't want to collect PayPal again, maybe only if the option changes. In this case, the logic would get more complicated. I would have to use the condition field, for example, to check the query string um, entry. So if the, if the query string uh, uh, entry, let's say equals, or maybe I could write that length equals zero. So if it, if it doesn't exist, then execute the PayPal, otherwise implement a different logic. Or I could implement something that calculates the difference between the old option and the new option and only collect the payment for that. But that gets uh, quite complicated. Uh, and I will just, for the time being, I will just disable this because the query string also needs my token and I don't think I have it on the system yet. So I just disable it. So what uh, I can do now is go back and now I could, I should be able to submit this. And again, I arrived on the same page because I don't have a um, redirect to URL. But if I refresh this, you see that now it writes Bogdan Litesco. So the same entry ID now has been updated. And this can be more easily seen if we, we go and add a new module. We ad will add an action grid module for the administrators only. <coughs> and here administrators should be able to see uh, the people that register for the event, and for each room. So I will just choose the data source. I will choose action form. I will choose this form, which doesn't have a title. It's a good practice to put a title so you don't arrive to this situation where you have uh, a lot of forms named the same. Okay. Uh, update the data source and now it will get me all the fields. And I can also make, for example, this will be filterable. That's correct because uh, action grid automatically detected that this is a dropdown in action form, so it should be filterable, but email is not filterable, for example. Okay, so I don't have anything to do here other than uh, save and go back. So you see, I have this uh, form at the bottom. I could make it visible only to administrators. And here I have um, all the settings and I can filter by a uh, room Okay, so I only have one uh, option, one option submitted for the room that costs 200. Here I should uh, bring, pull up the title and not the value to be, to be nicer. And then I can uh, have a f search. It's a real time search. So I can see all people that subscribe to this event. And more than this, as an administrator, I can edit this. So I can click this, uh, uh, this um, arrow at the right, and it will go to the same page, you see, with a uh, entry key in the URL. It's the same entry key followed by a return URL. So it knows to go back to the um, action grid page. But in this case, it's the same page. OK, so now you see at the, b at the top, I have this loaded. And I could say, edit it again. Click register. The page reloads and you see it now in the action grid, I have the updated title. And actually there is one more thing that I want to show you because I, uh, I misinformed you earlier. And that is uh, you can also use a special token to um, enable or disable action. And that token is called is, is edit. So if current record is edited, so it's not a new entry, it's one that is edited, this token will evaluate to true. And there is a similar is new token that can, um, that will, uh, that will be true when the form is registered. So this is basically it. Although I, um, I haven't gone through setting up all the wiring, I hope this will serve as the basis for whatever you want to build. Um, thank you for your time and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.